Welcome to another Tech Tip video where today we're going to take a look at DraftSight, a free 2D design tool from Dassault Systems. There's also DraftSight Professional which we're going to specifically look at in highlighting the new screw connections capabilities in DraftSight Professional. When you launch the dialog box you can specify everything from the fastener type to the stack up to the size. And even for getting the stack up thickness, we can use a quick button to select this geometry on screen using familiar snaps. So here I just select where the stack up starts and where it ends. Then all we need to do is uh, choose to insert this as a block. So we hit OK and then we just drag and drop this block onto our 2D drawing, locate it correctly, and it's as easy as that. But if you want to show the hidden geometry of your stack up, you can change this option here to show that as well. This way, if you're using hidden lines, you can see that. And now when we insert this block, you can see that all the hidden line geometry is included as well. Now, chances are you want to balloon these components, and DraftSite has a really easy way to do this also. Simply select a component, and then where you want the insert point to be, and drop the balloon. DraftSite then presents you with a dialog box to enter some key information. In this case, we're going to provide the assembly, the item number, the part number, and then finally the description. Once that's done, we go ahead and insert the balloon. Now, you'll probably want to insert a few other balloons as well, but what about stacked balloons? Going into the options, you can change the toolbox settings to include stacked balloons. Here you can see there's a lot of options. We're going to choose to stack them to the left. So we'd go ahead and choose that and hit OK. And now when we go ahead and insert balloons the same way as before, first we select the component, then the insertion point, and then place the balloon. We'll also specify a quantity in this case. Now we can go and select another component, in this case the washer, which is part of our stack up. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and pan over a little bit to get a better view. And when I press enter, you can see that the stack up's been included. Let's go ahead and add one other balloon. Because when we get done with this, we're going to want to go ahead and take a look at a bill of material. Using all the information we entered in those dialog boxes, all we have to do is go choose our balloon annotations and choose to insert the bill of material. And you'll notice DraftSite automatically captures all that information. So there you go, there's the new screw connections, the automatic balloons, and the bill of material found in DraftSite Professional.